Say yo! Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is... Bianca Belair. Oof, 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 oof. I was thinking about making this video a few weeks ago. I didn't. Now, Bianca Belair, 400-day SmackDown, where Royal Women's title reign has officially ended due to Oscar and Jeddah Saudi Arabia. This is a little bit surprising, but not really surprising. If you look at the SmackDown women's roster, there's nobody for her to feud with. Nobody. Her and Io Sky already had their match. Her and Bailey had like a year-long feud. Um, who else is on the SmackDown women's roster? Mia Yim. She's not ready yet. Um, Shati Blackheart, not really. Um, who else? Who else is really on the SmackDown women's roster for Bianca Belair to feud with? Nobody. So they putting the belt on Oscar was not surprising. Now this feud can keep going. Bianca Belair beat her at WrestleMania. Oscar got her win back. I expect the feud to keep going until Money in the Bank, possibly SummerSlam. Now the question is, should Bianca Belair turn heel? Should she turn heel? For the second straight pay-per-view, Bianca Belair was booed as the babyface. Yes, and Puerto Rico at WrestleMania Backlash against Io Sky, the crowd booed her. For whatever reason, they booed the shit out of her. You feel me? Same thing with Saudi Arabia. They was booing the shit out of Bianca Belair. Everybody was in favor of Oscar. Now, even though it's like, Bianca Belair is a natural babyface. She's done nothing heelless since she's been on the main roster. It's like she's over one, respectfully. She's over one. She won the Royal Rumble like her first year, main event at WrestleMania, beat Becky Lynch at WrestleMania the following year, then just beat Oscar this year. It's like she's had no setbacks, bro. She's had no setbacks. The biggest setback in her career on the main roster was when she lost to Becky Lynch in 26 seconds. That one thing happened. Everybody's like, oh, my God, she's buried. She's buried. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She went on to win the belt back and then hold it for 400 days. She's the longest reigning Royal Women's Champion in company history. It's like, bro, everybody thought she was buried for that little one minute. That little one minute she was buried. It's like, bro, relax. Relax. You feel me? Now, I honestly feel like she's been a baby face for her entire run on the main roster. Her entire run. We've not seen Hail Bianca Belair. Last time we seen that was at NXT. And she was great. She was great. But I understand why she's not like that anymore. I don't want to say it like this, but she's like the female John Cena. She's like the female John Cena. That's why she hasn't turned heel yet. She does a lot of cool stuff, bro. Her entrances always involves people from inner city communities. She's always giving back. So it's like she's a very likable person. Very likable person, bro. Very likable. I feel like she likes being a babyface. Like, she likes being that, bro. And she's, I don't want to make it about color and race and all of that, but she's like a positive black woman on TV, being positive, not being ghetto, not being ratchet, not doing nothing crazy, you feel me? Just out there busting her ass and getting busy. So I see why she's not a hill and why they're not turning her hill, but I do feel like she's a great hill. We've seen her be a great heel already. You feel me? And you can turn her heel and not turn Montez Ford heel. I don't know if that's what's holding them back either. Because I know they're going to do mad stuff with them. They got a TV show coming out soon. So they're going to do mad stuff with... They're mad marketable. Bianca Belair and Montez Ford as a couple. So it's like, is that what's holding them to be back from turning her heel? I don't know. I don't know. But it is a great heel in there. It is a great heel in there. But the pushback is... Is she the female John Cena? Where it's like, if we turn her heel, can she still do the Make-A-Wish stuff like that? Can she still do her cool entrances and bring out little girls on WrestleMania? I don't know. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.